So, was recently asked to do a kit bag dump. The bag that I use is an original. Been using this bag for a couple of years now, uh, two to three times a week. It's been out mountain biking, hiking, skiing, boating, uh, car travel, four wheeling, pretty much every use there is for it. Uh, I use the original kit bag or heavy recon primarily just because I find that a bag that has less stuff in it is a lot more comfortable on my chest and so I err to those two bags for uh, just for the volume because I can carry the same amount of stuff and it won't be packed as full. When I get a new kit bag the first thing that I do to it is add the Grimlocks on the bottom. My gloves live pretty much year round hanging from the bottom left. I use them a lot, not just for hand warmth, but also around fires for protection. Um, if I'm around wire crossing a fence, sometimes I'll put them on depending on what's going on. The other side generally is left bare, but sometimes I hang hats, buffs, um, lever actions. If you have a saddle ring, can hang off there just fine for hiking. It's just a quick grab and stow place. Another thing that I do, and this is a more recent thing is, I add a J, JP small, GP small, sorry, not JP, GP small. Uh, right now it just has my keys in it, but when I'm running a radio, that's where the radio goes and why it's on here. It allows the kit bag to stay flatter. The radio is out of the way if I want to do something, and it puts the antenna kind of right up along the crease here, so I don't always have it trying to stick up my nose or into my mouth. Um, I used a, you can either molly it through or use one of the molly strips just through that loop. Uh, I've also used a SR25 10 speed for the same thing. It works just as well. Uh, this is a little bit smaller and that's why I've gone with it. So starting in my front pocket, first thing I have in there is I carry a buff in there. That gives me multiple uses, you know, sweat during the summer primarily little extra protection during the winter on the ears if the wind's blowing right into the hood. Um, wipe things up with it, wipe my face up with it, just kind of a multi-use. I like the buff over bandana which I carried for years because it tends to dry out a little bit quicker than the cotton and seems to hold sweat a little bit better than cotton too. So buff. Next thing I have in there is just a striker with a uh, with a ferro rod nothing fancy i could probably give something that's more compact and lighter this is something that came in some kit that somebody gave me at some point so i threw it in here and it just lives in there <clears throat> i used to carry standard p cord in my kit bag but i found that it actually took up a lot of space and was not something i used a whole lot so now i carry a slightly smaller hank of p cord and then i also have smaller uh, cordage again just doesn't really get used that often so that's why I don't carry very much of it I carry a uh, full-size compass in my pack but I want to always have a compass with me so I have one of these mini comp twos and it stays tanured leathered uh, tethered in there um, I can pull it far enough way out from my body that I don't seem to have a problem with any metal. And then of course, if I need to, I can just take it off the, the tether. So that's hanging in there. That's it for, oh, one last thing on this side. This is half of a contacts lens container and it has um, pills for purifying water. So I always have water purification on me as well. On the other side, single Ziploc bag. I have a energy gel and a single heat in there. Again, I carry more in my pack. This is kind of just a quick grab and go, or if I'm doing a side hike, I have something with me, easily accessible. My fire starting kit. Uh, I have a spare Bic lighter in here, bicycle inner tubes, and a fast fire. At this point in life, the bicycle inner tubes are my go-to tender, and fast fire is kind of my backup. Uh, and Bic lighters, they work. I carry a bunch of them. I have three, well, two on me, one in here, and then I think I have another one or two, maybe two in my pack. Um, cheap insurance, light insurance. So that's my fire starting kit. Have a little, uh, little uh, ruler in here. This is something that was given to me by my call for um, marking track sizes. It comes in and out. Um, 
I put it back in because when I was getting ready to move recently, I found it and thought it would be neat to have because there are times that we find tracks that we want to put a scale next to. And a Leatherman works all right, but this I figured would be a little bit better. The last thing I have in my front pocket until I drop it on the ground is my handy plastic spork. Uh, spoon would work just as well, but I got this cheap on closeout and it's light hasn't broke yet so it lives in there so that's everything that's in my front pocket middle pocket of the pack is kind of my larger stuff on the back I basically have two of our small organizer buckets and a 10 speed pistol mag pouch uh, in one organizer bucket I have my small binoculars in the other one is my camera And then, of course, a single pistol mag. Underneath the buckets, I keep a headlamp. Uh, this one's a black diamond. I've had it, I don't know, probably 10 years now. There's better, smaller ones on the market, but I've been using it for years, and it's in good shape, so I keep using it. The other thing I have in here is a fleece beanie. Uh, this is the beanie that fits my head the best out of every beanie I've ever had in life, REI one. Um, again, not a high use item, but when I, when I want it, I, I really want it. The last thing that I have in the back is a Fisher Space Pen. Uh, used to carry a notepad, then I carried five by nine cards, and then I carried a piece of paper. And what I found is I actually don't write things that often unless I'm in a class or doing some type of specific activity and then I will add in a little write in the rain. Um, that's just in there because I can always find something to write on even if it's a hand. So it does give me the capability to write notes. But I just found I didn't actually need the paper with it most of the time. In my front two slot pockets, the one on the right, and both of these are fairly empty because I have more stuff in the front pocket. The one on the right has a emergency whistle this one is the sole, highly recommended by people who know a lot better than I do. And the thing is with a whistle, you can do a lot better signaling than yelling because uh, it takes less energy and you won't get hoarse. You gotta just blow. I carry a pair of EP3s in here. Um, they're more for active activities like hunting where there's not really a lot of shooting going on, but there might be shooting. So I wanna protect my hearing, uh, but still be able to hear pretty well. And then I just have a handful of foam ear pro. They get used up, they get lost. But if I'm actively shooting without a suppressor, uh, that's kind of what's gonna go into, into my ears. On the other side, I have a inReach Mini that as you can see is clipped in. That lives in here pretty much full time because if I'm out and about, I'm gonna have my kit bag with me. So rather than having it in the pack or moving it from place to place, I just decided to put it in the kit bag and know that my kit bag needs to be with me. I also have in here a uh, signaling mirror right into the lens. Kevin's loving that. Um, so signaling mirror with the hole so it's easier to direct. Again, this is a Soul product. Uh, both those came from Bart Combs at Soul Co. if I remember correctly. And then just a small, tiny piece of uh, duct tape one pair of nitro gloves. Um, you know, whether you're cleaning up dog poop out of the back of a truck or working on game, working on an injury, it's just something good to have in there. Um, and that's it. That's, that's what lives in my kit bag on the regular. Um, for the most part, my pistol is on me or on the waistband of my pack. So I don't really have it in the kit bag that often anymore these days, but when I do, it goes in the back pocket, so that back pocket's kept clear because I don't want anything else in the holster with my pistol. And the, the last thing I'll say is, I try and go through my contents every two to three months and figure out, you know, do I need to change up? Is there anything in here that I'm not using that I don't need in here? Is there anything that I am missing that I've wished I had a couple times? Right now, the things that I'm debating are my camera. Generally, when I'm out hiking, I'm with Evan, and he's got a lot nicer camera than I do, so he takes pictures. Or I forget to take the pictures because I'm just enjoying the scenery. I'm just in it, what's going on. So, you know, that's something that lives in my kit bag that 
I'm contemplating taking out and only putting in for trips where I know I'm going to be alone or there's a higher likelihood of wanting to take pictures. Uh, the other thing is I'm mostly running a junction these days, so I don't necessarily need a magazine for on the trail in my kit bag. It's another place where I can cut some weight. And then, like I said, you know, I go back and forth on the headlamp. If it's not broke, don't fix it. But I'm well aware that there's better, smaller, lighter headlamps that would take up less volume, which less volume is always kind of attractive for the kit bag for me. So those are the three different things that I think I would probably change up, um, take out or add. Uh, and then the other thing is I do carry a tourniquet on my body, which is why I don't have a second tourniquet or a primary tourniquet on the kit bag. Uh, and then I have another tourniquet in my pack, easily accessible. So I do carry some more med gear on my body. Um, otherwise, that would be on the kit bag or in the kit bag as well. So that's it. That's my, uh, that's my kit bag dump. Hope, hope it answered some questions and, and people found it interesting. And let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.